Have you been thinking about moving to Langley, BC, but you want to learn a little bit more about it before making your final decision? Or maybe you're just curious about what it has to offer. Well, as somebody that's made that move myself, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know before making your move to Langley. I'll cover things such as the weather, housing, options for schools and education, shopping, restaurants, employment opportunities, and so much more. Most importantly, make sure you stick around until the end where I'm going to be covering some of the challenges and downsides of living in Langley that you're not going to want to miss. What's going on guys? My name is Alex Dunbar and I'm a local realtor based out of Langley, BC. If this is your first time on my channel, I make weekly videos pertaining to the BC and Canadian real estate market as well as showcase community tours across the lower mainland. So if that's something that you're interested in, I suggest you consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell so that you can be notified as soon as we put out a new video. And with that, let's dive right into today's video and start with a general overview of Langley. Langley is situated in the eastern part of the Metro Vancouver area. It's a city where old meets new. It's known for its beautiful green spaces and friendly community feel. The great part is that you can enjoy a quiet yet lively lifestyle. Many people refer to Langley as having a small town feel even though it's a big city. This city is culturally rich with lots of festivals, food and events year round. The weather is mild and great for outdoor activities all year round with rainy winters and warm summers. Langley has a mix of farm life and city living offering peace and convenience. There's everything from local farms to a bustling downtown area and everything in between. In short, Langley perfectly combines its historic charm with modern life, making it a great place for many people to live because of its options. Moving on, the first thing I want to talk about is the weather. Langley's weather often triggers an overreaction for most people, mainly due to the prevailing reputation of of Vancouver, our neighboring city, which is often referred to as Raincouver or the wet coast. However, in comparison, Langley stands out with noticeably warmer and sunnier days when measured against both the rest of Canada and the greater Vancouver area. Personally, I've noticed that a lot of the time when I'm heading out of Langley towards New West, Burnaby, Coquitlam, or Vancouver on a sunny day, it's often that I encounter rainy conditions elsewhere. The historical data further supports this contrast, indicating that Langley receives less rainfall than Vancouver, but more snow, offering slightly higher daytime temperatures and slightly lower nighttime lows. This results in a warmer daytime experience while experiencing cooler nights. However, being a suburb of Vancouver, you should still be prepared for a fair amount of rain. Although winters are generally characterized by more cold, wet, and cloudy days than heavy snowfall. Summers, on the other hand, tend to be quite hot, but are often short-lived, typically with July and August being the hottest month. However, in recent years, we've experienced multiple summer heat waves, which has been a little bit surprising to be honest. But despite these weather patterns, Langley's climate is still milder compared to the rest of Canada and is why it remains as one of the primary attractions, particularly for those considering a move from outside the lower mainland. Moving on to housing, in Langley you'll find a diverse range of housing options to suit various needs and lifestyle. The city offers everything from cozy apartments in more urban areas to spacious detached homes on acreages in more suburban or rural settings. House prices in Langley vary, being more expensive in comparison to the rest of Canada aside from places like Toronto, but being much more affordable than some of the cities nearby such as Vancouver, Burnaby, and Richmond. There are a wide variety of options for all property types with entry-level homes available like condos and townhomes, while detached homes, especially in the sought-after neighborhoods, come at a higher cost. And this will obviously vary depending on a number of factors such as age, size, location, and everything else. So if you're interested in hearing more about the specifics in each of the communities, it would be best if you reached out and we could have a further conversation. My contact information will be down below, so don't hesitate to reach out. And if you're not looking to buy and just looking for a place to rent, there will also be several options. However, rental prices mirror home prices in a sense when compared to other cities in the rest of Canada. If you're interested in learning more about finding a rental, I'll leave a link in the description to a previous video I've done on the topic, so be sure to check it out after you finish this one. Langley caters to all different groups with specific neighborhoods being more suitable for families, young professionals, or retirees. Families often prefer suburban neighborhoods with access to school and parks, whereas young professionals may choose areas with urban amenities and public transport, and retirees tend to look for quieter locales with convenient access to healthcare and leisure activities. But the good news is that Langley's got you covered as its dynamic housing market and variety of neighborhoods offer a number of options for those looking to relocate. Next up, let's talk about employment opportunities. In Langley, the job market is robust and diverse, offering a variety of employment opportunities across key sectors such as agriculture, technology, and retail. 
Agriculture remains a significant part of the local economy while the technology sector is growing, offering roles in IT and software development. The retail sector is also vibrant, providing a range of customer service and managerial positions. Additionally, with more and more jobs allowing you to work from home, this can provide you with a massive advantage, even if it's a hybrid model and you need to go into the office only a few times per week. The city also hosts a growing number of retail outlets, restaurants, and service-oriented businesses, creating jobs in these industries. Furthermore, the local government and education institutions are significant employers in the area. Average income levels in Langley vary by sector, with technology and specialized agricultural roles generally offering higher salaries and retail positions presenting opportunities for career growth. For newcomers to the area, the best way to find employment opportunities is definitely to check online on websites such as ZipRecruiter, Indeed, WorkBC, and bcjobs.ca. As for opportunities outside of Langley, the proximity to larger urban centers like Surrey and Vancouver further opens up several other opportunities for employment. Looking at Surrey, being one of the fastest growing cities not only in the region but in the country has seen a boom in construction and real estate, reflecting its rapid urbanization. The technology sector is also emerging as a key employer, with several tech firms and startups establishing their bases here. Additionally, Surrey's educational institutions and health services provide stable employment opportunities. The city's proximity to ports and its industrial areas offer jobs in manufacturing and logistics. As far as Vancouver goes, which is a short commute from Langley, about 40 minutes, it's a major economic hub with a vibrant job market. And of course, it's going to be the largest source for jobs in the entire Lower Mainland. This regional diversity means that the residents of Langley have the advantage of living in a quieter community-focused area while having access to a wide range of job opportunities in larger, more bustling suburban centers nearby. Whether one's skills and interests lie in technology, agriculture, agriculture, retail, or the creative industries, Langley and its surrounding cities offer a dynamic and evolving employment landscape suitable for a wide range of professionals. Next up, if you have children or you're planning to study yourself, knowing about the educational facilities is important. In Langley, you have access to a wide range of educational options catering to various needs and preferences. One thing that differs in Langley from the other cities in the Lower Mainland is that the youth education system is split into elementary, middle, and secondary schools. Elementary school is for grades kindergarten to grade five, middle school for 6 to 8 and secondary from grades 8 to 12. There are some schools that do have some overlap or there's also private schools that are K to 12 as well. The city offers over 30 elementary schools, 6 middle schools and 10 secondary schools. The large majority of these are public but there are a few private schools with 4 elementary and 2 secondary at least as far as I know. The city's public school system is known for its commitment to quality education offering strong academic and extracurricular programs for students from elementary through high school. For those preferring private education, Langley has several reputable private schools known for their specialized programs and smaller class sizes. So you've got options if you're looking for a religious private school with the likes of Credo Christian and Khalsa School of the Fraser Valley. Additionally, Langley is home to two quality post-secondary institutions which are Kwantlen Polytechnic University and Trinity Western University. Both offer diverse programs ranging from undergraduate degrees to specialized diplomas and certificates. But if you're going to be picky and you're looking for the better of the two, it's definitely Trinity Western. People come from all over to attend this prestigious university, so if you're interested in learning more, you should definitely head over to their website. When choosing an educational institution in Langley, it's important to consider factors like the curriculum, teacher qualifications, extracurricular activities, and the overall environment. The city's educational landscape is diverse and robust, making it an ideal place for those seeking high quality education for yourself or your children. Next, let's take a look at transportation. Getting around Langley and to nearby cities is an essential aspect of daily life. Because of its central location, this makes it easy to get anywhere in the lower mainland in a reasonable amount of time. Of course, the closer to the highway you are, the easier this will be as the most time consuming part is definitely getting across Langley itself. This is the one downside to Langley that you need to be made aware of. When you're heading across the city from north to south or vice versa, depending on the time of day, traffic can be an absolute nightmare. This is especially true on 200th or 208th street, which are gonna be your primary streets for making this trek. So if you can avoid traveling during rush hour, I highly advise you to do so. However, the good news is that it's not that bad outside of these peak times. And in reality, all major growing cities have traffic issues to some extent. And while it definitely beats driving in downtown Vancouver, it can be a burden to some, so just be aware. As far as the transportation system in Langley, it's well organized and efficient, catering to a variety of needs while always looking to improve. The city's public transportation, managed by TransLink, includes a network of buses that connect different parts of Langley and provide links to major destinations in the Metro Vancouver area. The transit hub currently is located in the Willoughby community at the Carbolth Exchange. Located at 202 
2 Street and 86 Avenue. This is right next to Highway 1, making it easy to head in either direction. Unfortunately, there's currently no rapid transit in Langley. However, they're currently in the process of extending the SkyTrain from its current endpoint in Surrey City Centre into Langley City at 203rd and Fraser Highway. The project is currently underway and set to be complete by the year 2028. This 16 kilometer extension consists of eight stops and will be the first rapid transit expansion south of the Fraser River in 30 years. Although not yet finished, this will be a huge benefit to the residents of Langley, especially those who frequently use public transportation. For those who prefer to drive, Langley offers a pleasant experience with well-connected roads and highways, manageable traffic, and ample parking. And I just wanna take a second to emphasize the parking as it's absolutely everywhere and it's free. This is the norm for me as I grew up around the area, but I know that in other major cities such as Vancouver, you have to pay for parking everywhere and it can be a headache to even find a spot. But in Langley, you'll never have this issue as pretty much all restaurants and stores have free parking and there's always free street parking on top of that. Additionally, the city is enhancing its networks of cycling paths, making it increasingly convenient and safe for cyclists and those who prefer alternative modes of transportation. Additionally, the transportation system is designed to be inclusive and accessible with public buses equipped to accommodate those with mobility challenges. Overall, Langley's transportation infrastructure provides a mix of options, ensuring efficient and convenient travel within the city and to the surrounding regions. But living in Langley isn't just about your work and home life. It's also about enjoying your time here. The city offers a diverse and vibrant lifestyle with numerous recreational and leisure activities. It offers a perfect blend of both indoor and outdoor options. For outdoor enthusiasts, the city is surrounded by beautiful parks and natural areas, ideal for hiking, biking, and nature watching, with notable spots like the Campbell Valley Regional Park and the Fort to Fort Trail along the Fraser River in Fort Langley. The cultural scene in Langley is rich, featuring museums, galleries, and theaters that showcase local history and art, as well as live performances. Langley is also now home to several professional and high-level sports teams with the likes of the Vancouver Giants WHL team, Langley Thunder Lacrosse, Fraser Valley Bandits basketball team, and the most recent addition of the Vancouver FC soccer team who plays in the Canadian Premier League. And for those who enjoy playing sports as well as watching, there's a variety of clubs and leagues ranging from youth to adult at all levels from recreational to highly competitive. Or if you just want to go to the park to kick or throw a ball around, there's no shortage of those across the city. As for shopping in Langley, it ranges from local boutiques to larger shops shopping centers catering to various tastes and budgets. You've got access to a wide range of convenient shopping centers and amenities. Your primary shopping hubs are gonna be the Willowbrook Mall and the Willoughby Town Center, both of which offering an abundance of retail stores, dining options, and entertainment venues catering to all sorts of wants and needs. The restaurant scene is equally diverse, offering a wide range of options from farm and table experiences to international cuisine. You'll be able to find your staples with Cactus Club, Boston Pizza, and Milestones, but there's also no shortage of family-owned restaurants and a authentic foreign dishes. Whether you're looking for a Starbucks or a local cafe, you'll be able to find options for each on almost every corner. And if you didn't know, Langley's also known as the wine country of the Lower Mainland with a number of wineries you can visit, have lunch at, and sample their wine. Additionally, the city has also recently become a hub for craft breweries as well as a couple of cideries and distilleries. So if you're into that kind of thing, like myself, you're definitely going to want to check them all out. The only thing that Langley is really missing is a nightlife scene. However, while the nightlife might be quieter compared to larger cities, Cities, there's still plenty of pubs, bars, and cozy coffee shops for evening entertainment. There's also a casino that's open 24-7 if you're looking for a night of gambling. Additionally, Langley hosts a variety of community events and festivals throughout the year, reflecting the strong community spirit and offering residents and visitors a chance to engage in local traditions and celebrations. There are plenty of larger annual events, but also weekly events such as farmers markets in the summer. My personal favorites typically consist of the Fort Langley Beer Festival and the Food Truck Festival, where you get to sample local craft beers and food from not only in the city but across the province as well. But if those don't tickle your fancy, there are plenty of other events to choose from depending on your interest. Overall, Langley provides a fulfilling experience for those looking for a balanced mix of outdoor activities, cultural experiences, shopping, dining, and community engagement. Next up, Access to healthcare and other essential services is a vital part of settling into a new city. In Langley, residents have access to a comprehensive healthcare system and a variety of essential services that contribute to a high quality of life. The city is home to the Langley Memorial Hospital, which is located in the Murrayville community. It offers a range of healthcare services, including emergency care and specialized treatments. Additionally, there are numerous medical clinics and family practices for primary healthcare, along with specialists available through referrals. Whether you're looking for a doctor, dentist, physiotherapist, chiropractor, naturopath, or anything else health-related, 
you'll be able to find that here. The only thing that I will note is it can be challenging to find a family doctor who has room to take you on. But unfortunately, this goes for the entire lower mainland and isn't just localized to Langley. So moving over by a city or two isn't gonna change that. Beyond healthcare, Langley provides several other vital services. The public libraries in the city are centers for learning and cultural activities, offering a wide range of books and digital resources. There are also multiple community centers with one to service each of the major communities. These are hubs for both recreational and social activities, typically with pools and weight rooms, as well as programs like fitness classes and art workshops. The city is also well served by emergency services, including police, fire departments, and emergency medical services, ensuring public safety and rapid responses in emergencies. Furthermore, reliable access to public utilities such as water, electricity, gas, and waste management is ensured, contributing to the smooth functioning of daily life in Langley. What I will mention on that note though, is that the newer, more densified communities closer to the city center and along the western side of the city all have connections to city utilities, whereas those in the more rural parts of the city are more likely to be on well water and septic. So just keep this in mind if you're considering purchasing a property as it can be a major change if you're not used to it. Overall, the city's well-rounded services make it a comfortable and convenient place to live. Next up, let's talk about the safety. Overall, the city as a whole is very safe, but like any major city, there's problem areas. Unfortunately, some people like to let that overshadow the rest of the city and what it has to offer. But that's why I'm here to educate you on exactly that. Generally, the bulk of the crime and homelessness is concentrated around the commercial and industrial space in the downtown core of the city. This is also where you'll find things such as low-income housing, the food bank, several thrift shops, and the casino, all of which tend to attract a certain crowd. However, as soon as you branch out from the city center, this becomes almost non-existent. Regarding these not-so-nice areas, the community and authorities are actively addressing issues of crime and homelessness. Like anywhere else, the city does experience various types of crime, consisting primarily of things such as property crimes, like petty theft and burglary, and relies on the RCMP to enforce the law and ensure public safety. The RCMP implements initiatives such as community policing and crime prevention programs with a strong emphasis on public participation to enhance community safety. Homelessness is on the rise in Langley, which isn't isolated as we're seeing this in every city across the Lower Mainland, reflecting broader regional and national trends driven by factors like affordable housing shortages, economic challenges, and health issues. The city, in collaboration with nonprofit organizations, is actively providing support through temporary shelters, affordable housing initiatives, and various support services. These efforts aim not only to address immediate needs, but also to tackle the root cause of homelessness. Langley's approach to managing crime and homelessness involves a multifaceted strategy combining law enforcement, community engagement, and social services. The focus is on both short-term intervention and long-term solutions, including the expansion of affordable housing options and the enhancement of social support networks. In summary, while Langley faces challenges related to crime and homelessness, the city is actively working to address these issues through collaborative efforts involving law enforcement, community groups, and social services. This proactive approach seeks to create a safe and supportive environment for all residents, acknowledging that areas like downtown Langley and Alder Grove may experience higher crime rates and homelessness. And now on to potentially the most important part of the video is the potential downsides of living in Langley that you need to know. Langley, like any city, has its own set of challenges that newcomers must confront. Some of these challenges were already addressed in this video, but I wanna make sure I'm not providing only the good parts of the city, but also warning you about what to look out for. The biggest challenge for most is probably gonna be the cost of living, particularly in terms of housing. Compared to the rest of Canada, it's definitely on the higher side. However, compared to some of its surrounding cities or to places like Toronto or Vancouver specifically, it comes in at about a 30% discount. Making sure that you understand this and you're able to afford it are crucial to determine prior to making the move here. Another one of the primary challenges of moving to Langley is adapting to its unique culture consisting of mild wet winters and warm dry summers. If you're coming from any other part of Canada, this is probably actually gonna be seen as a benefit rather than a challenge as you're likely used to shorter summers and much colder winters, especially if you get a ton of snow because honestly, we don't get much here. Maybe for a couple days at a time, but typically it doesn't stick around very long. However, for those who may have come from a warmer, drier environment, this can definitely take some getting used to. Another potential issue is the homelessness and crime. But I wanna make this very clear, there are a few select bad 
bad neighborhoods, which this is almost solely condensed into. So if you avoid these, you're gonna be just fine. On that note though, it's important that you consult with someone like myself that lives and works in the area because sometimes just a couple blocks can make a major difference. Next is the traffic. As previously mentioned, this is really just when trying to get across the city itself. The biggest bottlenecks are typically gonna be in the Willoughby and Langley City areas, so just keep that in mind. And lastly is the distance of Vancouver and lack of rapid transit. So this really depends on where you live in Langley and how often you need to go to Vancouver. On average, it's probably gonna take you about 40 to 60 minutes to get there, but if you get caught in heavy traffic, it could be up to 90 minutes on a bad day. And without rapid transit, you aren't able to bypass this traffic, at least for now. But in a few years time, this will be a different story. So if you think you can get over those challenges and that the pros outweigh the cons, Langley might be the perfect spot for you. And that's about gonna do it for today's video. So if you did get any sort of value whatsoever, all I ask is that you hit the thumbs up button. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, I suggest you consider subscribing to our channel. After watching this video, if you are considering making the move to Langley or any of the surrounding cities for that matter, or you just wanna talk about real estate, you can scroll down and hit the first link in the description to book a call with me at a town that works best for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out another video on our channel before we get out of here and we'll see you in the next one.